let's also talk about saf here because that's like the overarching theme so given that india has you know set ambitious uh, saf blending targets uh, but has no commercial you know uh, saf production yet uh, so how do you think how ready are ge engines current and next generation uh, to support 100% 100% saf flight and what's like the retrofit cost implication for airlines i probably the airline question on retrofit i think airlines are best on able to answer that but the saf blend you know we were one of the first to, to do a flight it was the vistara flight which was done uh, about 3 years 3 4 years back right but you know i think the more important point you bring along saf is basically equal to sustainability that's the goal you're talking what's in our control is making really efficient engines so that you know the fuel burn is down and the emissions are down and eventually it contributes to the the emission goal sustainability goal and i'd like to rewind back to history how cfm and g have been uh, kind of progressing towards that goal if you see leap leap the engine is about 15% more efficient than its predecessor the cfm gnx is about 15% more efficient than its predecessor cf6 the rise which you see here is going to be about 20% more efficient than its predecessor leap so i think what's in our control is making really efficient engines efficient that comply with saf and we are well on our path to achieving that well good luck for that and thank you so much for speaking thank you